If you need anything else, you know where to find us. It takes a strong mind and a good eye to sell art. Hilarious. Truly, you missed your calling as a comic. Shh! Are you crazy? Keep your damn voice down. The hauler from Bailo, sell high. I'm sure there's a wealthy banker in New Atlantis that will greatly appreciate what you just delivered to me. I am so relieved. Yes. Bailo, sell high. I'm sure there's a wealthy banker in New Atlantis that will greatly appreciate what you just delivered to me. I must say, that's not the reaction I was expecting. But you're right. The world of art is quite exciting. Well, if you go about it my way, that is. It's all part of the game, my friend. It pays to get your hands a little bit dirty. It pays very, very well. But I digress. Thank you for your uh, discretion. Now that our little transaction is complete, I should be on my way. Take care, and let's not talk about this again. That's of no concern to you. I told you at the end of our business that we will not speak about it. Do not mention my work again. See you.
about the trade business? Who you know matters as much as anything else. Okay, hello. Let me take a look at your file. Huh. What? Not found. Who the hell are you? We run a number of social programs. There's a lot of work that needs to be done in the well. A lot of people in need. We started as an intellectual movement built around atheism. As our numbers increased, we began focusing on humanitarian efforts and showing what humanity can achieve when we work together. We don't exactly pass around an offering plate, if that's what you're asking. But we do run mostly on donations. And as you might have guessed from the surroundings, we try and stretch those donations as far as we can. 
Perfect. It just so happens there's a task I need help with right now. Indeed. Sometimes it just works out that way. People with mutual interests seek each other out, and by working together, we achieve something greater than ourselves. As for the job, I need you to pick up a man named Tahir over at the Medbay. He's recovering from some injuries and needs assistance getting back to his apartment. I'd like you to pick him up, grab a bite to eat, and take him home. In one of the poorer districts, near where the children play soccer. Take him that far and he should be fine. Tahir is prideful and I don't want him to feel like you held his hand. You just nudged him in the right direction. That's a touchy subject. Tahir's had several run-ins with UC security, including tagging, theft, and brawls. He also blames the UC for the conditions in the well, not to mention his own personal difficulties. And since he won't accept help from the authorities, the house is stepping in to provide some aid. I'm afraid not. Even after you're healed, it takes time to recover from something like this. Most people have family and friends to lean on, but Tahir has no one. On top of that, he's a young and prideful man, so he won't accept help from UC security. Great, you'll find him over at the med bay. He's probably hungry, so after you pick him up, escort him over to Kay's. She should have a meal ready for him to take home. And thanks. Thanks for picking up to here. And if you don't mind, don't tell him I sent you.
Buy enough of our merchandise, she'll give me a promotion. That landed not too long ago. I'm sure is something. What do you want? I'm very busy, as you can tell. Do 
Don't mind me. Just a weary man, resting his feet. I help out Henrik from time to time. Not very often these days. But that's fine. Oh, Henrik is an old friend of mine. I help out around here from time to time. But I don't just loiter around. I'm involved in my own business endeavor as well. Maybe a little, but that's not such a bad thing, is it? Better than all the noise and attention topside, if you ask me. Unfortunately, I'm quite old-fashioned. I only deal with associates that I know and trust. But, if you do a small favor for me, I might feel comfortable opening my business up to you. All you need to do is pick up a package from Red Mile and deliver it to me. You don't even need to interact with anyone. The contents are of no interest to you, and they're not contraband if that's what you're wondering. If you're uncomfortable doing this favor, you're free to decline. Ah, I'm not at liberty to discuss that yet, but I assure you, it's quite lucrative. Fantastic! I eagerly await your return. Stay out of trouble. No loitering, okay? I don't have the patience for it. Can't say I'll have what you need, but you're welcome to look. That's so. Think folks down here are too poor to afford electronics. Not the first time I heard that line. Yeah, I get that kind of attitude far too often. You find yourself with any more commentary, feel free to keep it to yourself. Well, then maybe we should just stick to business, huh? Happy to make a deal if I can. Stop by any time. It's a quaint shop, isn't it? I like it here. your pockets around me. Just saying.
Everyone's welcome, as long as you keep your hands to yourself. Understand? No causing trouble in here. No shortage of hungry mouths to feed around here. Keeps us on our toes. Nothing else? Mom, that's Kay, gets all the credit. Started making sure people felt welcome back when I was just a kid. She had one rule. No causing trouble. Everyone abided by it. Put their differences aside when they came through the door. After a few years of feeding so many mouths, we needed extra credits to stay afloat. Didn't mean for this to turn into...